way to something I'm so excited for. We're making croissants. This is an Airbnb experience that James very kindly booked for me for my belated Valentine's Day present. We didn't actually spend Valentine's Day with each other this year just because it didn't work out with the timing in between all of our travel. So we were like, let's celebrate belatedly in Paris. What better place? I'll probably be so hungry by the end of it, but it's worth it waiting three hours to eat freshly baked croissants. It's also bright and early right now. It's almost 9 a.m. in Paris and the streets are pretty quiet. There's no one here. Outfit of the day is my black trench coat from Oakenfort that I've been living in on this trip. And then also a plaid romper from Urban Outfitters with a shirt under it. And leggings and boots. got back from the croissant making class and I'm trying my croissants they're so so good the perfect amount of like crunchy on the outside and super soft and butter on the inside but also like we saw how much butter they put in it guys let's just say I'm gonna have to watch my croissant intake apparently American butter has around 60% fat and then in France to be considered butter the butter has to be at least 82% fat and in most bakeries they use 84% fat it tastes great though it was honestly the loveliest morning. I super, super recommend. I'll leave the links to book this experience down below. It was, I think, us and eight other people. So it was a class of 10 and it was super cozy and all the other travelers were English speaking as well. And it was really fun to go around and hear everyone's stories. Probably would say this is one of the best things we've done in Paris so far. Came home to drop off our croissants and now we are back on our way out to more coffee shops in our neighborhood. The uh, cafe and restaurant scene here is absolutely amazing. So there's another one that I found just a couple of blocks away that we're gonna go do some work at. Oh my gosh. many hours have passed. <laughs> we were originally supposed to go to the Eiffel Tower after the coffee shop this afternoon, but I started feeling a bit like funny in the coffee shop. You know when you're like, ooh, like my body is about to not be happy. So 
I decided to come back and take a nap instead. I should probably eat something as soon as possible because we had the croissants. That was at like 11 a.m. It's now 5. And at the time, it was just like so many carbs that I wasn't hungry. But now it's like hitting me and I'm like feeling a little bit shaky. So I need to go find some food. Yeah, I just decided to listen to my body today because I do tend to get sick when I like travel for long periods of time. So I'm trying to avoid that happening. So windy. Uh, it's so windy. Okay, those are the bells. Today we're in Montmartre, which is my absolute favorite neighborhood in Paris. This place is so like charming and beautiful. If you guys don't know, Montmartre is basically like a little neighborhood on a hilltop overlooking the rest of Paris. And so there's so many little hidden alleyways and lots of staircases here. We just climbed so many stairs to get up here. But we're gonna spend the day exploring this place. About to head to coffee for some quick caffeine and a light bite to eat. And then I'm just gonna take you guys around. And tonight we have a dinner reservation at a beautiful restaurant near this place. So I'm really excited for that. And yeah, it should be a good day. Charming day. Sunday in Paris. arrived at Sacre Coeur, which is the basilica on the top of Montmartre. And look how many churches there are.
were here at Le Maison. Mm. We were here at Le Maison Rose, which is like this super, super famous pink cafe that I'm sure you guys have seen all over Instagram and Pinterest. Um, I've actually been once and it was quite cozy and cute on the inside. Doubtful there's space inside, especially because it's lunch hour, but we're gonna go check it out just in case. As expected, there's no space until maybe three for tea when tea starts, but there's no reservations. So we might come back at three and take a gamble and hope we get a spot. So we decided to check out um, the Museum of Montmartre, which I've actually never been to, and this place is absolutely gorgeous. It's quite small, but every corner is just so charming. And as we were walking across the garden, we spotted this hidden view spot that's like covered by a bush. <laughs> All right, change of plans because this place is too cute to pass up on. So I think we're gonna skip tea at the Amazon Rose and instead do tea here. We just sat down with in this like charming little pavilion with so many tables. Change of plans, we are going to the Eiffel Tower before dinner because we have a couple of hours to go. You guys, it's raining, but we have made it. So cold. I'm so cold. We're gonna go find a hopefully less crowded viewpoint. <laughs> we just took a couple of pictures um, with the Eiffel Tower and now it is time to head to dinner. Dinner is actually at a place owned by the same restaurant group as the Circolo Popular, which we went to in London, but it's like got a Parisian twist on it and it's super beautiful. Right, you guys are at Pink Mama. There's actually a fat line for people with reservations, which is crazy. This place has four stories, so I guess it seats a lot of people.
dinner and we're now waiting for the bus back home. Look, I'm using these real estate signs to illuminate my vlog. Can't see, but there's some really nice looking Parisian apartments for sale. Recommendation, if any of you guys ever want to go to Pink Mama and sit on the terrace, go before it opens, maybe by like 15, 20 minutes, because I think we just missed the terrace seating and we got there at opening time. Overall, it was a pretty good meal. Um, like not great, but not bad. And definitely the interior was super, super pretty, so. Good morning, everyone. It is a bright and sunny Monday in Paris today. And it's so beautiful that we decided to sit outside for the first time, even though it's a bit chilly. And we're at Corette today. It's just a, I think, like, nine minute walk from our Airbnb. And this is one of the classic, like, Parisian patisseries that you see all over the internet. And they have, like, super famous hot chocolate with a whole, you'll see like a whole load of whipped cream. And so I'm gonna try that and get some breakfast as well. I realized that we've been eating pastries for breakfast literally almost every day since we were in Europe. So I'm gonna try scrambled eggs today. Scrambled eggs and pastries. Yes, scrambled eggs and pastries. most delightful brunch. I am so happy that I got to sit outside. I was thinking that maybe we wouldn't get to on this trip because the weather has been so cold and rainy, but thankfully a day of sunshine today. And we're now heading to a coffee shop across the Seine. another airbnb class this one is for french sauce making this is my valentine's day gift to james and his valentine's day gift to me was the croissant class so we traded classes for this year's gifts uh, one of our favorite movies and one of the first movies we watched together was the hundred foot journey and um, if any of you have seen it you know french sauces play a big role so this is what inspired this experience That's good. wow This is the smallest elevator. Oh my gosh. We arrived at sauce making. Mirror selfie. <laughs> Wait, I. Dude, if this mirror wasn't here, it'd, like, it'd be so easy to get claustrophobic. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> like James is against the wall. Wow, look at how small. Imagine getting stuck in this elevator. Oh my goodness. The Baroness sauce. And those two ones are sweet. Uh, this one uh, is called crème anglaise and this one is called crème pâtissière. The ingredients are quite similar, the heat much more, and this way you can work on and off uh, the gas or your You eat it, so that's why I'm going to put that on the gas for two <laughs> It's a nice 
<laughs> so and uh, don't make the mistakes it's uh, the cream first and the cake on the top okay never put the cream on the cake because it makes the cake ugly when it stays um, 12 hours in the fridge, okay? Mm -hmm. It has the time to rest. So here it would be nice uh, to eat now, but if you come back in one hour, everything <coughs> will be uh, ready. Mm -hmm. yeah. So be sure to make it. Yeah. This is perfect. Yeah, it's okay. Guys, do you see how red my lips are? That was so spicy. I don't know why we got the same level of spiciness, but maybe because we had it warm this time, it was like for some reason so much spicier than last time. Thankfully, we're gonna go get some boba to cool our palates. Equipped with lychee milk tea, first time trying it, and it's pretty good. Daylight savings just started in France. It started a week after then in the US, so um, we've been working on a PST plus eight hours schedule and now it's plus nine hours. So that's one more hour of daylight to explore, which is super nice. 